Well, looking at it poetically, uh, the building services are the components of, the, of a building that sort of bring it to life. So whereas you have the, the architecture designed by the architect, which is the, the shape and the forms of the building and the, the general aesthetic, and then you have the, the structure designed by the structural engineer that makes the building stand up. The building services are perhaps all the, the other bits that, that make it work. I think a good design is a design that meets the exactly meets the requirements of the uh, of what it's intended to do, but in the most simplest way. In, in a way, it's a, like an elegant design, so that it's not being not using too much energy or using too many materials to meet to, to meet the requirements. And as well as that, it would be. It would fit well within the, the space so that it's, it's, uh, it doesn't look out of place or anything uh, and it's not noisy or unsafe or anything like that. And it can be, in terms of the building services, something that can be maintained and kept going and working properly throughout its, the lifetime of the building or until it needs to be replaced. I think the proudest moments I have are when I'm actually on site and actually seeing the designs that you may have been may have been working on for two or three years previously, and then to actually be there on site and seeing them being installed as as we have designed them uh, and working with the with the builders there and and discussing the design, and making sure that everything is going to then be installed correctly. And after that, it's then going, well, if you have the opportunity to, to go to the building afterwards and see the, the users maybe using the building and perhaps making use of the, the services that I or we have designed and, and enjoying the building, I guess. And it's, it's just seeing everything working. Well, I think they can definitely make a valuable contribution. The, uh, I mean, buildings use an incredible amount of energy. I think it's something like 30 or 40 percent of all the energy that we use is, is in buildings. And so, if we're to reduce our our use of fossil fuels uh, and to reduce our carbon dioxide emissions, then we will need to tackle the energy that's that's used in our buildings and the design of the building is, is vital for uh, achieving that.